Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our monthly December 2015 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Virgo. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message and share with my viewers the highest good of all. Okay, take a card from the top for the beginning of the month card from the center for the middle and a card from the bottom for the end of the month. Okay, we have two upright cards in reversed. So let's see what the month of December holds for you, Virgo. We have the Ace of Pentacles. You're inspired, okay, in the beginning of the month. You're inspired. You want to begin something, okay? The Pentacle suit is a, a very earthy feel to it. Okay, it's it's your wealth, it's your health, it's you know something that's long standing, something that's going to take a lot of hard work. And if there's anyone who's a hard worker, it's Virgo. They're very detail oriented. Um, they take care of their health. I know a lot of Virgos that are are very um, health oriented with exercise, diet regimen. Um, this is giving you the green light in the beginning of the month that you do have what it takes, okay, to reach whatever goal you're setting for yourself in the month of December, okay, and you have the ability to attract whatever you need, okay, to see whatever this is through to completion. You might have to ask for help. Some people around you, you know, maybe are more experienced than you in whatever it is, whether it's starting a new exercise or fitness routine, maybe starting a small project, maybe starting up a business, but whatever it is, okay, this is the green light, okay, to go ahead and go after whatever it is that you want to do to manifest your dreams and start making them become a reality. So this is the beginning stages. Then we have the emperor, okay? And the emperor is upside down. He's reversed, okay? And when we see the emperor, okay, in a reading, well, this is going to be in the middle of the month for you. Uh, the emperor here is telling me that basically in the middle of the month, what you want to do is, how could I put it? You don't want to stop what you're doing, okay? But you've you've got to be... How could I say? You got to have balance. Okay. What this is, is this emperor here to me means that you've laid the groundwork for something. Okay. And you could be very structured. Okay. Normally, however, okay, this is an emperor. I mean, since he's upside down. In, instead of it being so structured and balanced, okay, this is a person in the middle of the month, which you may encounter, or it may be you, maybe your energy, that you become aggressive, okay, by mid-month, okay, and you become more or less like a dictator, okay, and people don't like that. If you're going to need someone to help you with whatever inspiration or project you're beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? You don't want to come off as this reversed emperor. You don't want to become an aggressive dictator bossing people around, okay? You need to balance your authority with your sensitivity. You've got you to gotta balance your head with your heart, okay? That's basically what this card means. So you got to be aware of, of what it is that you know, you take on in the middle of the month because your personality is going to be on the edge. Maybe it's tension or stress. I know during the month of December, emotions run high. This card is, is you know, warning us against that. You don't want to become an aggressive dictator, okay? You want some structure, okay? You want structure, but you don't want to boss people around because, you know, you get more bees with honey, let's put it that way. And I know sometimes Virgo people could be very sharp and to the point. Because they're demanding. They're perfectionists. And that's great about them. That's what I love about them so much. Because I know when they do the job, they do it right. And they're going to expect that from other people. But sometimes people aren't as perfect. 
okay, as we want them to be. And we've got to be a little bit more sensitive to the people around us and, and, and not come off as an aggressive dictator in the middle of the month. And then the last card here, okay, at the end of the month, has you feeling pretty sentimental, okay? We have the Queen of Cups, and as you know, the Cup cards are emotional cards, okay? And this person here at the end of the month, this could be you or maybe someone that you're going to encounter, okay, by the month of, by the end of the month of December, okay? The Queen of Cups is someone who is, she's sitting with both feet in the water, Okay, and she also has the moon above. Okay, and the water to me is going to be some type of emotion. Okay, when we have maybe an exchange of words in the middle of the month here, because maybe you're pushing somebody around or maybe being a little too aggressive, they may say something to you that gets you thinking and, and emotional towards the end of the month. Okay, you're going to be feeling very sensitive and highly emotional by the end of December. Okay, and this here is, it's a card that, how could I say, it's a person who's very nurturing, okay, the card, the Queen of Cups, and I'm, I'm feeling that maybe you need to be more nurturing around the people, okay, that you're going to be with during the holiday season, and, and not so you know, aggressive, like this dictator type of thing in the middle of the month, you're going to need to step back. Maybe you're going to need to show yourself a little bit more self-love or nurture yourself. Because it sounds to me like in the middle of the month, you may have some anxiety and stress that's going to make this maybe negative personality trait come out. And at the end of the month, you're going to need to show yourself or maybe those around you more nurturing, okay? Or show yourself more self-love. So this is telling us to be gentle on yourself at the end of the month. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.